FAMU and Jackson State have joined the party late for a five-star out of Florida. We're going to talk about it. Do they have a legit chance at landing him after the bumper? What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victor Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because I upload every single day. Now, FAMU and Jackson State have jumped in the party on a five-star linebacker out of Florida by the name of Malik Bryant. Yes, Malik Bryant. He currently attends IMG Academy, but he's from Orlando, Florida. And let's take a look at Malik's Twitter. So Malik posted this back on March 30th. It looked like the JSU Tigers, who have known to snag up five stars, offered him. It says, blessed and highly favored to receive an offer from the, hey, shout out to JSU. Yeah, I got this man's attention. The Jackson State University, Coach Harold, Deion Sanders, and he tagged his high school. This was on a March 30th. Then you see some good folks at JSU showing him some love, sending them the gif, sending them the emoji, sending them the atmosphere he could possibly be playing in, and letting them know, like, hey, we know your commitment's coming up, and we want to show you that the JSU, the I believe, the I love is all in on you. So that happened on the 30th. Around 8 o'clock is when he announced that. And it wasn't shortly after. The very next day, I said the very next day, Hey, JSU got on the board. Why not the Rattlers? He says, blessed and highly favored to receive an offer from Florida A&M. Tagged Coach Willie Simmons. Tagged Coach Bless. And tagged his high school once again. And you see the Rattlers came and let the love be shown. Showed the marching 100. Shitting all the gifs. Sending everything. Sending the snakes and letting them know, hey, come and stay home. Stay in your home state of Florida and come play for FAMU. Now, this is once again showing the elevation of HBCU recruiting. This, once again, is showing you that HBCUs are on a different level than they were a year, two, three years ago. This is this wouldn't have been happening three years ago. We've heard numerous of accounts of high-level athletes that went on to be high-level professional athletes, so high-level athletes at the college level that went on to be high-level athletes at the professional level, guys like Fred Taylor, guys like, you know, just a bunch of different guys who spoke about when I was in high school, when I was in high school, the HBCUs didn't recruit me. Ricky Williams spoke about that. Fred Taylor spoke about that. A bunch of different guys have spoke about when I was in high school, these schools that I possibly could have been interested in, I don't know, I didn't know nothing about, they didn't recruit me because they didn't see me ever playing at that university. Those days are now gone. Those days are now gone. In comes Deion Sanders. In comes five-star recruits to Jackson State and others that are being recruited by the other schools and that are considering not just Jackson State, but they're considering FAM. They're considering Howard. They're considering X, Y, and Z. And this is beautiful. These are high-level recruits, guys. These are high-level recruits, and this is how you change the game. This is how you become more competitive. This is how you build a national brand and a national program, not a regional brand. Too many SWAC schools, too many SWAC universities, too many SWAC football programs are known regionally. You're not known west of the Mississippi. You're not known north. You To build a national brand, you have to get national recruits. I get it. You can get your guys from Mississippi if you're Jackson State, and you can get some of your lower-tier guys from Florida if you're FAMU. Lower-tier meaning recruiting rankings. Don't, don't think I'm talking about the person or the potential prospect because we've seen some of these guys that have zero stars and become superstars. You get what I'm saying? Walk-ons that become superstars. So don't I'm not discouraging any kid with any ranking, any whatever. But to continue to rise your profile nationally, to continue to rise your profile nationally to the rest of the country, you must continue to go after and eventually land a few of these national 
recruits. That is that is my talking point. It looks like my mic one fell off, but that's that is just the truth. That's just how that's just how it works. Alabama didn't become the program that they are from just getting kids from Alabama. You know, for, uh, Georgia didn't become the program that they are just be getting local, you know, relatively unknown kids from the state of Georgia. They went after high level players and they started getting some of those high level players. Now, we're talking about Malik Bryant. And I spoke about how JSU and fam, you got into this party kind of late. He's the number 27 player in the country, the number two, according to 247, by the way. This is all according to 247. He's the number 27 player in the country, the number two linebacker in the country, and the number eight prospect in the state of Florida. He's a five star. He is not the athlete that Harold Perkins was. And we know Harold Perkins was strongly considering Jackson State, ended up committing to Texas AM and then flipping and signing with. LSU. He's not that high level of an athlete, but he's a big, strong young man. Class of 2023. So he's a rising senior, six foot two, 235 pounds. He is a brute force, runs sideline to sideline, and is a strong, strong young man. Now, the reason why I said that they're getting into this kind of late, but not too late, but kind of late, is because he is scheduled for a commitment on July 23rd. July 23rd. So that is three months from now. So JSU and FAMU both are playing, are kind of playing catch up. They both are kind of playing catch up. Whoa, what is going on? They are both kind of playing catch up when it comes to this young man because he is scheduled for a commitment very, very soon. Let me make sure you can see, still see that. I don't know what's going on with that. He is scheduled for a commitment on July 23rd. So they're, they, they got three months, three months to try to put in some work and land the commitment. And here's the thing. I'm saying they have three months, but they honestly have way longer than that. They, ha they honestly have until December or potentially even until February. Because signing, because just because you commit to a school don't mean that you're going to sign to a school. I just spoke about Harold Perkins, and he was committed to Texas A&M and then ended up flipping and signing with LSU on National Signing Day. So anything can happen, but they have three months to put in work with this young man, Malik, Malik Bryant until his commitment day on July 20, 23rd. And so that is going to be critical for Coach Prime. That's going to be critical for head coach Willie Simmons. That's going to be critical for the FAMU program and for the Jackson State program if they want any shot at landing Mr. Malik Bryant. They got some stiff competition because it looks like his top four schools right now, and he's from the state of Florida, Florida with their new head coach, Miami with their new head coach, Mario Cristobal, who are both ex both Cristobal and the head coach of Florida, whose the name is escaping me right now, are excellent recruiters. So you got those two, the two Florida schools that you're also going against. You also have the kings of the crop, Alabama, who's always going to be tough. And they always get the players, most of the players that they want, and Georgia, the defending national champion. So it's not going to be an easy recruiting battle at all. But if I but if you say there's a chance, there's most certainly a chance. I can't wait to see what happens with five-star linebacker out of Orlando, Florida, that currently attends IMG Academy, Malik Bryant, considering just getting offers from FAMU and Jackson State. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below whether you believe Jackson State or FAMU has a legit chance of landing this five-star linebacker. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button on this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.